So we're teaching the concept of what we call borrowing. Yes. But always with the concrete first, the manipulatives first. Okay. Exactly. And this will really make sense to your child because they have been working with, with dimes, pennies. Yes. For quite a while. Now we're going to add in a larger sum. We're going to add in a dollar. Okay. okay. Subtracting with dollars. So I'm going to get out five dollars and forty-seven cents. Five dollars and forty-seven cents. But you want to buy your kitty a collar. And the collar costs... I'm allergic to cats. Can I do a dog <laughs> instead? Right, so you want to buy your dog a collar. <laughs> okay. All right. We, I mean, we have to make this real to the student, right? Exactly. Yes. Okay. So we want to buy my dog a collar. How much is it? All right. And the dog collar cost $2.74. $2.74. Let's go on ahead and start with our units. Okay. We need four cents, and we need seven tens. Oh, that's, okay, now it's much more simple. So I have, this is what I changed for this dollar, and I need seven of those for my dog collar. <laughs> so go on ahead and pay me my, yes. My There's key. the 74 cents and the two dollars. Two dollars. And so what do you have remaining? That's yours. So I have two dollars and 73 cents left. Very good. And so now you're really going to work a number of these sums. Yes. Really get them comfortable working with these types of numbers, with changing our dollars into dimes, changing our dimes into pennies. Yes. Then every once in a while, you can write one of those sums in the math notebook. Do you see? We're just continually doing the same steps. Yes. Over and over to build that comfort. Again, Give them some interest in, in those questions. So it's make, maybe making a purchase for something mm -hmm. that they're mm -hmm. saving for. Mm -hmm. Okay, And then we're going to move on to abstract numbers.